All right, well, so I just want to cover this real quick. Uh, since they never covered it in school, this was information that was, uh, we were not, you know, was not focused on in the schooling systems because the, the it was, uh, you know, run by serpents, right? The places of higher education even, right? The, the, the so-called places of higher education, the uh, institutions that are supposed to be teaching us, you know, higher education, wisdom and knowledge are based upon spiritual fraud and theft and robbery and, you know, have built a whole kingdom of deceit and bloodshed and have hidden these things from us. So I just want to cover this for that reason about uh, possession because God has given me an understanding, right? And I know that there's people that probably might feel scared or helpless and if this is explained to them, it might give them a chance to, uh, you know, repent. Okay, so possession, right? People talk about, you know, the Catholic Church giving exorcisms, you know, which... I think is probably false. It's just an actor in a show. The Catholic Church has no authority over unclean spirits. They serve them. Okay, the the uh, the Vatican. Okay, I'm not calling all all uh, necessarily. Catholics are ignorant because they, if they read their Bible fully, they would know there's a lot of stuff that does not line up with the uh, the Bible that you know they shouldn't do. Does that mean that they're necessarily completely false? Well, God calls it, he does, he is calling his people out of Babylon. He has, okay? And if you read the scriptures, you're not ignorant. And my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So I'm not saying there won't be any Catholics in heaven. But what I'm saying is that, yeah, they're ignorant. So a lot of them are, you know, if they're not aware of the hierarchy of the uh, Catholic Church, that's the place that spread false doctrines throughout the earth, right? That's where it's coming from, the city that, on seven hills, that rules over the kings of the earth, right? The Crown Corporation, okay? It's like the Umbrella Corporation in that one movie, uh, Resident Evil, right? Literally, and that's what it, I think they're showing us, maybe, ultimately, in those videos. But the, uh, what is possession? Uh, people, people have a wrong understanding of this, right? The, 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 the unclean spirits, okay, in Satan's kingdom, okay? Why do you think people used to live so much longer at the beginning of uh, time when God first put man upon the earth, right? And Methuselah was, says, you know, does that saying he's old as Methuselah, right? Who lived to be 969 years. That's not lying. There was, I just believe there was less spiritual uh, resistance in the spirit realm, right? Which is what can basically, it causes disease. It comes against us and it, ca it also causes spiritual death, right? Corruption creeps in over time, right? As those, the Psalms say, the waters crept into my soul. I think it's Psalm 88 or 77. Okay, and uh, the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. They came around about me daily like water. They compassed me about like bees. And so if you have that, the, you know, those points of reflection and all the rest of what's in the Word of God, the Bible, and like I've mentioned, the other scriptures, like the Book of Enoch, it tells you, it fills up your your oil, your lamp of understanding, okay, and not with false uh, wisdom or philosophy, but it's 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 uh, you know it's going to give you good understanding, okay. Now you can you can <laughs> I pull this song up. This is from her uh, Afterglow album. It's from like 2003, or I had it and I bought it in 2005 when I played this one out, played Mark Cohen out, his uh, his album with Walking in Memphis. Was, they're both two really good albums. I had that live album, uh, The Distance to Hear. Those, all three of those albums were really good, but that's when I first got bored and good. But that's out of the, uh, aside from the point of where I'm heading with this, is that uh, this whole song here is talking about it's deep spiritual truths. Listen as the wind blows from across the great divide. Voices trapped in yearning, memories trapped in time. I think I did a video on this before. I'm going to go over it again. Uh, listen as the wind blows. Okay, that's, are you discerning the thoughts and intentions in your heart? The Word of God is a discerner, right? If you have the Spirit of God and that checkpoint, like Hebrews, I think, was it? Four? 12 through 13, 
says, I think as it says that, that you know, the, the word of God is a discerner of the thoughts and intentions in the heart, right? So just simply having that one part, you're going to be able, you're going to examine your thoughts more. That one scripture is one part of understanding the spiritual reality, right? And framing your heart to turn to God. Okay, so listen as the wind blows from across the great divide, right? Voices trapped in yearning memories, trapped in time. A lot of people had their roots cut, okay? And they are the wind that blows, okay? This, this, I think Psalm 103 or 107. This is 103. It says that uh, all flesh is as grass and the goodliness is the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades because the spirit of the Lord blows upon it. Surely the people is uh, grass, okay? So the wind can blow on your... Uh, you know, the wind blows on all of us spiritually. If you're not listening, though, you end up getting trapped in time if you're not seeking the truth, okay? Because people live completely in the flesh, which brings forth death, right? The, the, the sinfully conceived brings forth death, okay? And, and your memories get trapped in time, right? And that's what's going to happen. If your roots are cut, you're, you're, uh, you wither and die, okay? And that's happened. This is that's what the slain, the slain are. Okay, so this is the night. This is we're in the night right now. Okay, the book of Job, I forget the chapter, says they turn the night into day. They turn the night into day. The light is short because of darkness, I think it says, right? And the light which is in them is darkness. Okay, 11, 33 through 36 tells us to, to, to take heed that the light which is in us is not darkness, right? So uh, this is the night right now. Right, but they turn the night into day. How? Well, by false doctrines, okay, ascending the wrong way, okay, and not in Jacob's ladder, not the word of God. Okay, and then they cut other people's roots. Okay, they target and persecute God's elect, okay, who hang upon the Lord of spirits. Okay, and when we cry, we're cr we're gonna cry for judgment against all you people's wickedness. Okay, and all the people that plundered and robbed and helped the, the, the rulers that spoiled us. And as God is, he's going to strike through you lying kings on the day of his wrath as you fully implement your agenda and lock us out of your system. It's going to be a massacre. Like I said, God ain't going to have no mercy on these people. He's going to strike through kings. Like I said, why did the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointing and say, let, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. Right? And God is laughing in heaven. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my holy king upon my, the mount, my mount Zion. I will declare the decree the Lord has said to me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Surely I will give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Be wise now, O therefore, you kings. Be instructed, O you judges of the earth. Kiss the sun with fear, okay? Lest you, you perish when his wrath is kindled but a, li uh, but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. It's funny, I didn't have to memorize these verses, but when you're crushed, okay, when you feel the, the uh, adversity, it's going to happen naturally. Okay, so anyways, without like you know rambling on and on too much about this, Okay, these people have made the night their companion. And they're going to be unsatisfied, right, at the end of this short day. Okay, and Sarah here is revealing so much truth. that This is, happens, is, I love music because they show us, they tell us, right, it's given us hints and clues. She, this is the, she's, she's the adversary. Adam, Sarah McLaughlin is the adversary. She fell as her song Fallen reveals, okay? But you can't really be mad at a person for that, okay? But what does she say? I'll be the one to hold you down, kiss you so hard, I'll take your breath away. That's the breath of life. They suck out our oil, okay? Like, like I said with the Job 6-4, as with the straw, okay? They feed on our energy and life force. They're drunk on the blood of the saints, She's telling you to close your eyes, right? Not to believe the truth. You, you think this is a love song. I didn't fully understand. I knew there was something spiritual going on back in like 09 or 2010, 2011. I would hear this song. And then after going through a lot of stuff, God showed, you know, he revealed it to me. 
through this world I've stumbled so many times betrayed, trying to find an honest word to find the truth enslaved. Okay, the truth will be enslaved until we get the proper understanding in God's word. And you might need more explanation as far as why you can't use other do doctrines, right? People don't understand why it matters that like why you you need to read the word of God and not other doctrines because like I said the the word of God explains the host body okay and you got to get past the uh, gates of iron and brass so you need to understand how the enemy is there to slander us first and if you take a shortcut if you take a shortcut you're not even going to have that understanding and they're going to spoil you okay and God's going to spew you out like the lukewarm Okay, so the truth is enslaved because of slanders, right? In Satan's kingdom, the gates of iron and brass. And now she's talking about the word of God. Oh, you speak to me in riddles, you speak to me in rhymes. My body aches to breathe your breath, your words keep me alive. Okay, parables. Okay, but we're, I'm in a dry and thirsty land. And that's where the rebellious dwell, right? Psalm 68, 11, I believe. He, he uh... He brings out those which were bound with chains, okay, but the rebellious dwell in a dry land, okay. He said it to solitary in families. He brings out with the, those which are bound in chains, but the, the uh, rebellious dwell in a dry land. So repent, okay, start feeding on the, the bread of life, which is the water of life, the word of God. Okay. She said she, the morning God brings his judgments, morning every light every uh morning it's morning that she dreads another day of knowing the path she fears to tread all right people are scared to walk in the light lest their deeds be exposed okay but th those who uh, come into the light do their works openly so that they so that it can be manifest they've done them in god i mean they, we don't hide the truth as freemasonry does and makes you swear oaths with all the other secret societies hiding what they know Okay, and then and then warring against us, and it's essentially the dream state, I believe. When you get into the, you know, you tap into sorcery, and once we get fully into the spirit of God, okay, uh, lawfully, God says, uh, I think of one twenty six Psalm. When the Lord turned the captivity of, of Zion, we were like them that dreamed. Okay, then the Lord made us happy and to laugh and filled our mouth with good things. And uh, it'll be like we were sleeping. We wake up for a dream. It says in Jeremiah 30 or 31, God has satisfied the weary soul and has replenished every sorrowful soul, right? And upon this I awoke and my, my sleep was pleasant to me. When you realize that all the fear that you experienced... <laughs> was just part of a you know a dream <laughs> anyways this <laughs> this video is supposed to be about possession and uh I kind of went off here but I just think these are interesting lyrics worth sharing but we have strongholds the enemy gets he gets into our uh, he creeps into our soul like waters okay gradually when we live in sin okay they they fray our minds basically right shooting words like arrows okay i went down to the bottom so i know okay and i've had to build it back up gradually over time my walls okay and through repentance cleansing renewing my mind okay reading the word of god humbling myself Okay, and it, you're going to backslide sometimes. You're not going to be perfect along the way. You just take the grace of God, cover it over it each time. And you walk in the right direction. You correct yourself every time you go off the, the straight and narrow path. You know, and Satan hates it because they use the law against us, right? The law of sin and death. And if you're not aware of the truth, you end up, uh, you know, sinking down into a... Uh, Ryan Cabrera had the song on the way down right and that's also another song worth checking out the lyrics okay on the way down I saw you save me from myself 
Anyways, I don't, I'm not going to sing all that, but read, go read those lyrics because he's explaining. You can fall through. The bottom falls out, basically, right? And you can't lift yourself back up out of the pit of miry clay. You know, Psalm 40, I think, he says that, uh, I waited patiently upon the Lord. He inclined and heard my prayer. He brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay. And that's being here on earth in the flesh, surrounded by those that had their roots cut or that went into the ether, right, through f false doctrines. Okay, they ascended, and then everything's just a game, and then they, they target us because they know that they're naked. Okay, like Adam and Eve, and they, they're going to hide themselves when God comes into the garden. They're going to hide in the day of judgment, right? Literally, and not, if they don't hide, they'll be. They're going to be. They're going to be expelled from God's garden. Okay. Those who, who sanctified themselves through shortcuts. So possession, right? I was like, you know, worried for a long time, months, years, because of uh, sinking down and not knowing, like, you know, you can feel something in your body, right? Because your brain has breaches. But if you haven't been lifted up off the earth, you're not. Uh, you haven't corrupted yourself, right? You might have been pressed down, crushed, okay? But that's how God creates oil. He's, he, what does he say? Shaken down, uh, shaken up, pressed down, right? And uh, overflowing or something like that. I forget, it's in the gospel, but uh, we have host God's body, so we got to guard our hearts. We have to, uh, you know, believe the truth, repent, meditate on the word of God, reflect upon it, like right? Psalm 1 says, day and night and then we'll be like a tree planted by rivers of water that brings forth our fruit in its season and whatsoever you do shall prosper right the ungodly are not so but are like the chaff which the wind drives away okay the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous for the, the, the Lord knows the way of the righteous but the ungodly shall perish okay, Psalm 1 and so yeah, if you haven't been lifted to where you're, uh, you know, you're still on earth, grounded, you can fix it. And anyways, God's going to fix it. He said he's going to deliver him, uh, 2112 Jeremiah, he's going to send his elect out. He said, O house of David, deliver him that is spoiled out of the hand of the oppressor in the morning, lest my fury go forth like fire and burn, that none can quench it. So what I haven't fully understood, or I don't know, or I, I'm not, it could go either way, uh, is spoiled is being spoiled the same thing as being corrupted i don't know it might be because god said that he would breathe upon the slain so you know we i i don't know i don't really honestly i don't know I, there's things that i still don't understand and uh god is going to make everything clear to us soon but 99.99% .99 of humanity does have spirits in their body, probably. Uh, other spirits in their host bodies. It's just part of this life. Okay. And, uh, yeah, if the Egypt was troubled by the horrible ass, right, ass, right, is what happened to basically those that have destroyed and corrupted themselves that are behind all this, you know, they don't want to maintain lawful order but want to basically rob the public and use the federal reserve to do that and then go all digital well that's the trap if you go along with that you're cursed judged and damned into hell for not coming out of babylon which is confusion which is unrepentance okay and a lack of, of turning turning your heart towards god so how can i wrap this up and make it make this quick okay so you know, children, you, you don't even think demons are real when you're young, right? But over time, you know, uh, you realize as your mind gets frayed that the spirit realm is real, right? And then they hold us in captivity and then it feels impossible to get out. But as long as you haven't been leavened into... Uh, you know the waters above i think you can you still have an opportunity to repent but the people that were they're all going to fight against god's plan they're all going to support the antichrist kingdom those that partook of the tree of knowledge of good and evil those that ascended through doctrines of demons they climbed up another way and they've been uh fighting against god and his kingdom okay they silence us block our funds and all types of stuff you know and then gaslight and slander us well that's coming to an end 
Okay, Psalm 101, 5. Whosoever privily slanders his neighbor, him will I cut off. Him that has a high look and a, uh, a high look and a proud heart, why not suffer? But my eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land. Okay, and I might early cut off all the uh, workers of iniquity from the city of God. You can go read that again. And also says not to set any uh, wicked thing before your eyes. Okay, because those are gates. Your eyes are gates, and the enemy will, you know, it's an eye. It, all sin is an altar to Satan. Right, pornography, your eye gates. Okay, where he's going to be able to influence and affect you. Okay, but if you if you meditate in the scriptures daily. Okay, you get filled up and then God will lift you up. Okay, but possession, full-blown possession, people have people are captives and oppressed, but full-blown possession basically is those that were became hybridized, right? And they had they fell through the bottom, the bottom fell through, right? So then they get freedom, essentially spiritual freedom, but it's in death, cursed blessings. But uh, if you look through the material I've always mentioned and provide, it's going to, I guarantee, I find it funny. There's no, no, not even any brothers or anybody that ever comments on it. You know, no sisters, nobody in the body of Christ. I know surely a bunch of you guys have somebody's, some of you people have had to look through it. I mean, you know, you can read the word of God on your own, but that assimilates the, the most essential, basic, relevant, necessary parts to, uh, you know, create a meditation in your mind. And for those that haven't been damaged spiritually, guaranteed there's ba the baptism of the Holy Spirit will come through that. And then you want to stay sanctified. You don't want to turn back to sin. You do not want to, you know, like for me, pornography was an open door after about six months after I got the baptism of the Holy Spirit. The temptation came into my mind and I was just like, whatever. And little by little, you know, you open the door once and it's going to be hard, harder to close it. And it was over a matter of years, you know, I turned to occultism. Once 2009 rolled around, you know, you just, I just filled my PDF with a, a bunch of uh, different doctrines, you know, trying to get free, but I wasn't paying close enough attention to the Word of God, okay? And uh, there was so much unbelief in my heart by 2014, 15, that I realized you better get down, down to this now because you're bordering on being cut off. I almost, you know, my my mind, there was definitely a bunch, there was thousands of spirits in my body, I believe, 2014, 2015. In tw April 2014, I felt like I had a demon sitting on my chest. And I would sleep longer and longer each day. It started actually in 2011, right, just being depressed and sleeping, right, to make your problems go away or to avoid them. And by 2013, I'd sleep till about 3 in the afternoon, you know, but, uh, you know, God will breathe life back into his people and into people that are just ignorant and need help, you know. But the ones that want Satan's kingdom to go forward, he's going he's gonna to take his sword, man, and cut them into pieces. And they're all going to do it themselves, actually. i just seen, uh... Anyways, they're all going to fight against each other. i just seen some, some foreigners from, uh... They're up in New York, right, Manhattan, and they just robbed a pastor at gunpoint, right? Not Manhattan, but, uh another one of the uh brooklyn i think is what it said right they robbed him i just seen that last night right at, at gunpoint as he was doing his service and they're going the, the wicked are going to come in and they're going to burn up all the churches okay it says it in psalm 74 i think they're going to burn up all the churches and that'll be the end of false christianity and then god's going to spread the truth set up his kingdom and he said welcome the good and the bad into my kingdom so uh you know we'll see how it all plays out but if you haven't been you know leavened into the waters above you can still repent so start meditating the word of god and understand possession full-blown possession is not until your roots have been cut then you're basically possessed okay but it's it's like an uh, an increasing measure of possession the more and more you live in sin you get deeper and deeper ingrained strongholds neural pathways to where the enemy controls you completely through that okay he goes over all your channels and all your banks and even even went through the land of judah to the neck and overflowed it okay but now is the time for things to shift and change we're in the season right now and uh you know, I just encourage you guys, if you're captive, 
to turn around because it's not too late if you haven't been leavened. So, we'll talk more later. God bless you guys.